should have a Twitch bot mentioning your locations every so often. Yeah, I I guess it's kind of one of those where it's like, I, I think that's part of the reason why I gravitate a little bit more toward, well, I like YouTube because they just handle all of the advertising for me, you know, just ad placements and whatnot. So I, like, I don't have to feel like I'm not using that platform to at least some extent. And then on Twitch, it's almost easier for me because if people want to, like, voluntarily throw uh, support at me, it's easier, less guilt, because I feel like I'm not coercing anybody into it along the way. I don't know. It's It truly is, like, a weird thing. Uh, let's see. Okay, I don't even have my, my zappy tool. Now we have to... Well, never mind. That might actually help. Obviously, I've taken some hits. Yeah, so these guys don't have horns normally. Right, he's... Not letting up. Come on, move. Okay. Ow. Damn it. Freaking picking up your your dead uh your like crate and stuff in this is actually kind of miserable because it uh it kills your momentum you stop but you don't actually start moving again properly like I closed the menu walked about five feet and stopped again I'm not really sure why is there a gun in this game no but there was a there was a better wrench that does more damage. Blech. Somebody will get rid of the radiation just so we don't have this weird cloud. Speaking of the dust clouds, look. Oh, wait, no, that's actually just the wind. I don't actually remember where the radiation is. No. Is that the radiation over there? I admit it's fine. Oh, there are guns in this game. Hey! Because, yeah, those guys are going to be a little, pu little punchy for little old me. Yeah, the thing, the thing I think I, I get stuck on with a lot of, oh boy, there's a lot here. Uh, the thing I get stuck on easily with a lot of, like, advertising, advertising and self-advertising and whatnot is, uh, well, I mean, I've always been kind of against it since the beginning. I didn't actually start monetizing my channel until a thousand subs, which interestingly enough is the current cutoff point for monetization for most people, which is neat. Uh, let's see, but... I feel like extra money grubbingness makes me feel like I'm not providing a proper service. Okay, is it going to? Oh shit! You, f I hate you. Spawn camping ass hat. Uh, do I want to give up on it? No, because it's got all my grass on it. I need that. There's no green around here. I mean, unless I wanted to raid the uh, oasis, but I don't, because that's... Well, I guess we could get rid of the bushes. Yeah, we'll probably go get rid of the bushes. Good, things ne uh, good thing things never despawn. Hey! Do bushes respawn in this game? Because I've actually... I've never found that out. I know they didn't when the game first launched, that, like, grass and bushes and whatnot would never come back. Okay, small bushes, maybe, sometimes. That is, that's a, that's a hard maybe. Okay. So how are we doing? We're good. And thank you, Katsune Niko, for the 23 month resub. It's sub day. I don't know why. But thank you. 
All right. Now let's see. Are we going to get our shit kicked in, or did he wander off a little bit? We got a shooty boy there. Right there. I might honestly get shot. Oh, I think we're good. Oh shit. Fight each other. Fight each other. Not me. Not me. We Okay, we made it. We're in the safe we're in the safe location. Okay. Okay. We'll come back to that later. We're gonna loot the Oasis first. I was just really hoping I could find like an alternate set because I actually am extremely I'm big on aesthetics. I like greenery. I like nature. And so I actually feel really uncomfortable in these games when I'm just looting it. Like I kind of wish this game had really, really early on, like, really crappy solar panels that cost a lot to make. Just, like, a bunch of iron and copper. But, like, you can get them if you want to, because anything else is just annoying for me. Safe is a relative term. I mean, I... I don't have a weird armored bull creature attempting to perforate my, my everything. So... I I am markedly safer along the way. I picked the wrong spawn then. Map has two spawn points. Pick the desert. I wanted to I wanted to try the desert. It's the new thing. So what are you gonna do? Doom Eternal, obviously. Doom Eternal is super good. Alright, let's loot the bushes. I mean half of them don't even pop in until they get close anyway. We is that just oh bauxite ore? I don't think we've picked up bauxite. I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know what bauxite is used for. We'll get there. I guess I should mention it has been like a year since I last played this game, so I'm not exactly going to be like peak factory man. We'll get there. Oh boy. This feels like Ark all over again. Gotta get food for dinos. Man, I always wanted Ark to be a more interesting game than it was, but it was always just kind of like go out, get your dinosaurs killed, find new dinosaur, capture it, spend like an hour taming it, rinse repeat until you're like just sick of the game. I think I would have liked it if your dinosaurs were, like, you could make them immortal or something and give them, like, a rescue beacon brings them back. I think I would have dug that. I don't know. I... There's a... What is it? Kindred Fates. It's not going to be as survival-y, but that one looks kind of fun. No, oh, god damn it! Okay, he's stuck. Well, we've got a bunch of barrel nuts, so let's just... Jam this into my face, and we'll go murder him. There we go. Much easier. Alright, let's go back. Can I grab the rest of these? The answer is no. Where's you out that Blitz keeps going back to this game? I mean... It's, I don't want to talk, talk about other YouTubers too much, but one thing I've noticed is a lot of YouTubers found, like, niche markets that worked really well from, like, a monetization standpoint, like, making money and getting boatloads of views. But I think the problem is a lot of the games are kind of vapid and uninteresting. And, like, I've tr I tried that, I've tried some of those vapid and uninteresting games sometimes, and it makes me, I go, I go insane real quick. Like, the mental fortitude it takes to, to played nothing but clickbait games is it's impressive uh, for me I think I need a little bit more like immediate engagement otherwise I go insane and so I can absolutely see going back to like a couple of favorites just to be like okay this is safe this is something that I'm interested in and this is something that's not going to uh, drive me nuts hello 
Yeah, so I think these guys have much smaller hitboxes. That's part of it. Let's see, define a clickbait game. Uh, I mean, honestly, a lot of the IO games. Uh, what was another easy one? Kindergarten, I think was kind of, I'm not gonna say a clickbait game, but uh, how would I even describe it? Uh, Forager was a clickbait game for at least a, a while, and admittedly Forager is a little bit more on the interesting side, which is good, but I built 50 lighthouses around this single island and then dug once and you wouldn't believe what happens, like that sort of thing. Um, there's a lot of like kind of, I'm going to call them uh, low effort games that get pumped out onto Steam constantly, and some of them actually have some pretty good me meme potentials, but a lot of them are just like weird trash, uh, but a YouTuber can like a lot of YouTubers will just load these games up for, like, five hours, cheat heavily, do something ridiculous, uh, put out a video, you know, with, like, bright, bold words on the thumbnail being like, I did this and this, and this, uh, this happened. Um, and then they just kind of move on. And it works, actually, really well. People, people eat that shit up left and right. Um... The problem is, like, I can't. I can't. I'm not wired for that. I am... I don't know if it's art school or what, but I just, like... The consumption of purely vapid content drives me insane. Well, no. I definitely will consume vapid content, but if I have to commentate over it, I, I can't. Also, I can, I can definitely do the, like, goof stuff here and there, but it's... It's tough. Scrap mechanic is easy. Multiplayer makes it really easy. When I'm solo, I think I'm a little bit more reserved. And I'm looking for the the same angle. But I don't, like, cut it down into the, like, highlight bits. I missed the game Fortnite was originally supposed to be. Shell and I were talking about that la last night, actually. That, like, I had been really excited for Fortnite uh, when it was still in beta and alpha and stuff. And it seemed like they were kind of going the right area. Um... And she was actually pretty excited for it, too, which is odd, because Shell usually is pretty much only interested in story-based games. Um, but we were thinking, like, man, it would have been really cool if that game had been, like, one part base defense. You know, you build up a, a base that the enemies attack often, and you have to, like, keep it going, keep resources coming in, gotta, you know, build up your defenses, keep your traps maintained, blah, 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 uh, find new trap recipes. But then, like, on the flip side or something, you kind of do Left 4 Dead-style missions to go out and grab resources. And you just do that for 10 hours until you get bored or you fit reach some kind of, like, you know, satisfactory stopping point. At which point it's like, alright, cool. I'm done. Uh, let's play, like, a new game. And instead, they turned it into, like, a weird games-as-a-service game that nobody wanted to play. And then, uh, then they were like, oh shit, no one actually wants this game. Like, it's not, it's too grindy and it's not good. And they're like, uh, how do we pivot into something else? Because instead of doing the, you know, Realm Reborn thing where they actually figured it out and made it good, they were just like, all right, let's, uh, let's make it a battle royale. We've already got, like, 50% of what we need to make this work. And boy, how do you guys know the rest of the, uh, the story there. Which... You know, I gotta respect. Like, if your game ain't working and you can pivot to something else and make it successful, awesome. I just, I weep for what it could have been instead. Because I really want, like, a, a substantive... Well, actually, a uh, easy example is... Uh, I don't know how many of you guys have seen or heard of Rift Breaker, but it's a... Uh, it's actually an automation game crossed with the tower defense, crossed with, like, a light RTS. Mostly, mostly it's just tower defense crossed with, uh, with automation, but you're effectively gathering resources, bringing them back to your base, upgrading, mining, uh, building towers, walls, and stuff, and then periodically you get attacked by large waves of enemies that just, like, that just bury your base in, in corpses. And you have to hold out against those. And it's really cool. I don't think it's going to be multiplayer, which is a bit of a travesty, because I think the game would be a thousand times more fun if I could bring a friend along. Hey. 
It's the weird S. There's actually like a name for what this weird S is. Oh, Summer Sloop. Actually, that's it. But like, I'm really looking forward to Rift Breaker because it's actually new oh technologies hey. can be developed based on this new superconductive gold-like element, primarily in power and electronics. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Hey, so that might actually be really helpful for me. Oh, let's see. But yeah, Riftbreaker is the closest I've ever seen to the fusion of really good base defense with uh, with resource gathering and so on and so forth. And I, I'm hoping it turns out as good as the preview version they sent me is. It just honestly needs to go longer because I think the preview version only I played was like an hour long and I need like a 10, 20 hour thing with like a crazy tech tree. I apologize that I've spent the net last, like, ten minutes ranting about other games and waving my hands at bushes. Uh, and I apologize that it's probably going to continue for the next, like, five, ten minutes. Wish there were more base defense games that were actually good. Uh, uh, again, I'm, I'm going to keep touting Riftbreaker until it comes out, and then I'm either vindicated or wrong. We'll see. So you don't like the face cam personally. Uh, yeah. I, I might continue with it. I might not. Part of the music? Okay, I think that's part of the music. I don't think that's part of the game. But I'll put the uh, the whole face game thing up to a vote at the end of the week if you pay attention to Discord. And see what people say. Because I know a lot of people will like part of the reason why I never even touched face cam originally was because I knew a lot of people had objections to it. At the same time, it's kind of one of those where it's like, it is undeniably actually useful. Um, let's see, any chance for a green screen on the cam? That is actually a green screen behind me. The problem is the lighting in my room is really bad. And so I would have to adjust my camera constantly uh, to keep the green screen going. Most people have an office that is... Uh, has no windows, or like the windows are blocked. I can't do that in this house um, because I don't own this house, and so I made I've made the executive decision to actually get a bunch of neat-looking curtains instead, and um, and put them behind me uh, because you know in, until I move to a new house, I just don't get a choice of those Audio Technica headsets. They're super comfy. Like, I actually need to get Shell a pair, because she's using my old Audio-Technica headphones, and she's like, I kind of wish I just, like, had a headset. Let's see, a shelving unit works too. True. Uh, problem is, I, I've got about 10 feet of room behind the green screen, and uh, trying to put a shelving unit around that would actually, like, show up would be difficult. Again, I don't own this house, so I don't I don't have as much like leeway in what I can do. Let's see what a blackout curtain would work. My landlord said no. I don't know why, but she's like, no. You can't put up any other curtains. So we have these like uh what are they called? Are they Venetian curtains? Venetian blinds? They're they're wooden slat blinds. It just go across. I wish I could almost hold E and just like glom all all bushes in a like 30 feet radius. That'd be lovely. But yeah, it, it has something to do with the HOA. Yeah. From what I know, like you can't do too much to the windows because it makes the it makes the neighborhood seem unwelcoming. So at some point, I my dream home involves a very big basement that is, like, insulated as hell, wired up, and comfy. And, you know, all the lighting would be at my fingertips as opposed to, like, the sun. Let's see, I want my Witcher 3 loot mod? I absolutely want my Witcher 3 loot mod. That would make life so much easier. i just walk into this woods and just be like, alright, I already have all the grasses. Farewell. And that's it. 
fiber optics dropping like mad from the ceiling. I mean, ideally, ideally, I would have as little wires as possible, just because like I would also want space for VR. And the more wires you have to deal with and like move out of the way for VR, the shittier it would be. But yes, I would absolutely want a gaming bunker. At a, at a friend in high school, uh, whose wedding I went to recently, um, she drops by every once in a while. Hasn't in a long time, but that's because she got married. I'm sure she's busier with her husband. Um, and also, she I don't know, she's she's like one of the administrators for Anime Boston and a couple other things now, if I remember right. I, she's busy. Uh, but she, her, her previous home that her parents owned had a basement that was converted into a home theater slash like gaming area. And it was lovely. Admittedly, I had a projector and I'm not super keen on a projector just because the quality is worse. I hear it, but I do not see it. Oh, there he is. Multitasking. Oops. Mouse, come back. Thank you. Hey, there we go. It seems like the slugs are a lot easier to reach. I don't remember if I have to actually do anything with it. Nope. There we go. This summer okay. slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings, which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Yeah, I, I guess my brain's going back to those, uh, the conversation about uh, defensive structure, or base defense games. I'm actually kind of blown away how few games do base defense at all well. There's absolutely a market for it from what I've seen. I mean, tower defense gets pretty dang close. Um, but most of, the, most, of the one, most of the base defense games I've seen are usually really bare bones, bones or boring. And so, you, like, the closest thing I'd say that would be would be like dungeon defenders or like orcs must die but like i feel like you could have a really good sandbox base defense game i know fortress craft maybe was supposed to be something similar but like i just fortress craft is way too complicated for its own good last one i really loved was mindistry they didn't push it as far as they could have yeah mindistry mindistry is a simple well i mean mindistry was built as a mobile game And I don't think they wanted to go, like, factorial levels with it. But Mind Mindistry is a great example of, like, yeah, what could be. But, yeah, if they'd gone further. Because I would love to see something that is, like, factorio or satisfactory. But your guns go up to the point of, like, total, anni total annihilation level of, like, just dumb guns that fire across the screen. Micro-missiles that just, like, hit every target in immediate area. And so, yeah, there's, like, a bunch of tower defense games, and there used to be a lot more back in the Flash era. But for whatever reason, they haven't translated well to the uh, the indie games industry now that, you know, almost all uh, small-scale development has moved over specifically that. I mean, it makes sense. Um, it's better to do... It's better to make your game in a way that you can actually sell and make money from as opposed to... Poor episode. How long have I been playing for an hour? I set up like the basic factory, died a couple of times, and now it's just grass. Eh, it's fine. So you wonder any games coming out that you want to play? So many. Uh, easiest actually way I would put it is go to releases.com, look up um, look up upcoming re releases, and it's like a solid third of the games there. It's tons. Doom Eternal, uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, which I think I might actually be getting access to in the next, uh, oh, jeez, 24 hours? So, we might be doing Ori and the Will, and the Will of the Wisps, uh, this weekend, either tomorrow or Sunday. Depends on when Microsoft feels like getting back to me. Oh, is my inventory full? Ah, <laughs> it's full. Well, that's a good time to go back. Oh, 
Oh, and I got an update yesterday. Cool. I might load up O&I again. Not sure when. They put these... They put these slugs way too obvious of a location. Having a mental image of Wander walking around 6,000 leaves shoved under his shirt. I remember doing that as a kid. It was uncomfortable. I don't know why I just charged him. Whatever, I got healing items. So you set up a macro to press E a bunch of times. Uh... I could. But yeah, we are, we are maximum scarecrow. There's just... I don't make footsteps, I rustle. Hell, I'd probably just roll. Okay, so let's let's go store some of this stuff, and I want to get um, biomass. So somebody had said something about making a vertical factory, and I will admit it's super tempting. I've got to see how the um, I got to see how the vertical conveyor belts work and stuff. But like, it would kind of be fun to have just like maximum desert tower going straight up. Okay, hello, biomass. So solid biofuel requires just biomass. All right, well, we're going to be here for a while. Yeah, vertical factories are easier with vertical lifts. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Or that's what I know, I guess. Oh. Too much stuff in my inventory. Too much junk in trunk. Uh, let's move over the slugs. Oh, there was something about... A thing in the MAM. I don't remember how to research stuff in here. Isn't it in here? Or do they get rid of personally researching things in these quarters? I don't actually remember. Uh, let's see. So it's this one, maybe? Oh, these are milestones. Oh, it's a new buildable in special. So they moved it. Uh, so do I? I bet I have to actually f research it first. There it is, field research. Well, we'll leave that for a bit. Uh, let's see. Back to biomass. Biomass leaves. Might have to clear some more inventory space. Yep. Not enough. This is always just a bit of a pain in the butt. We have a lot of flower petals. I actually don't know what flower petals are used for. Probably dye. Probably my assumption. <laughs> uh, that's it. Okay, I can hold the space bar for this one. Cool. Some scarecrows get filled with corn husks. I mean, it would make sense to fill scorn, uh, scarecrows with corn husks nowadays because we have such a massive amount of um, such a massive amount of like corn farming. Especially in the U.S., like, might as well. Efficiency. If I save up 500,000 henchmits, can I purchase a karaoke night? I... I don't actually know if, um... THX is here, but I'm pretty sure, like, we have some regs that have that value already. 500,000 is not actually that much. And if I gave that out, we would have potentially 100 consecutive nights of karaoke. Which is terrifying. Okay, you have 120k. I know I know some people are talking about like being in the 200 300,000 but maybe I'm wrong. But still, that would be maybe a couple more months of farming and then we just suddenly get karaoke night left and right. And anyway, yeah, I don't think anyone's hit 500,000 yet. Yeah. So I would like to have some kind of goal to use henchbits on, but my problem is, like, any anything major would get abused 
which is the worry. What? No, I'm still holding it down. Ugh. Okay, I gotta sit. Well, while that goes, I'm going to escape off camera and then bring it back down with me. Special stream at 500,000 that we spin a wheel for. Maybe? I, my main biggest deal is that, like, I actually do have a bit of a sensitive schedule. Like, today, for example, Satisfactory is kind of my fun starting thing. 40,000 thing where he does 30 squats, so we never, never load up there. Ooh, like, just squat squats, or... Because I could probably do push-ups. I don't have a weight rack, so squats would be harder? Yeah, just squats. Hmm. Yeah, because I, I, I could absolutely do Fitbits. Oh, that's funny. I really wish Twitch had more of a system for this sort of thing, because I'd love, I'd love to specifically do, like, hench bits converted over into... Um... Okay, this is miserably slow. Let's, let's fix that, maybe. I mean, it's already always miserably slow, but we can make we can make it f faster. We have the technology. There we go. That's better. But yeah, I I wish I could have like a market uh, marketplace or like poles that would use uh, bits and whatnot. Like, that sort of thing would work. 10,000 purchase a character name in RimWorld. Problem is, like, there's a lot of people with that value, and so I'd... Well, yeah. Could do that. It would definitely be, like, a race. Like, everybody just dumping bits, and I'd only be able to... F um, I'd only be able to, like, favor one person. Either that, or we just constantly rename people left and right as people dump more bits into just renaming one character. But no, I, I feel like Twitch threw bits at me, uh, like the bit system, or the the channel point system. And effectively, we're like, all right, good luck, find out, uh, figure figure this out. And I'm like, I, it's a cool thing, but I just can't figure out what I would do with, like, half of the, uh, half of them that wouldn't take me, like, a bunch of time or, like, screw up my schedule a little bit. Because, like I said, like, Satisfactory is kind of my, my fun game to start with today. I'll probably do it for the next hour and a half. And then we're going to get to actual work, which is, you know, Murder by Numbers and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, which are the two new games that came out today that I specifically want to cover. I almost feel like I have to... We want to just go get a constructor that puts all this stuff together instead. We've got enough solid fuel to last for, like, forever, so it might not be a bad idea. But, like... I guess like everything else, I want automation so I don't have to spend, like, an exceedingly large amount of my time uh, managing everything. Same thing with, like, Patreon and whatnot. Like, the more I specifically have to mess with something, the more um, the more it's going to be, a, like, a problem for me to fulfill it. Okay. So we want to get a constructor out here. Oh. I actually have to go make some stuff, but... Okay. So we want to do reinforced iron plates. Which is just iron and screws. Yay! Oh, I don't have either of these. Actually, I do. They're just here. Let's... Toss in all the flowers. At some point, we might honestly want to just burn the flowers and just get rid of them. Okay, uh, let's see. So, iron plates, reinforced iron plates. So we can make these things. 
So I'll make a number right here, right now. 20k and she'll feed you a cookie. I mean, that would be... That would actually be worse. Okay, seeing as we're talking about this, what is a good conversion rate? 10 push-ups? Because I, I can do push-ups, and doing push-ups wouldn't be a terrible idea. Uh, let's see. Nope, that's, that's point display. Manage rewards. Let's see. I think I am using smart costs. Custom reward. At 1,000 points to one unit of fitness exercise. So... I'm just gonna I'm gonna regret this by the end of the night. There's gonna have to be a timer on this one. Uh is there is there some way to control Ah, limit redemption per stream. How many can I how many push ups can I do in a day? I have no idea. All right, whatever. I'm going to do it for three three for now. We'll figure it out. Okay. Let's see. Try for 100. So, I know I can do 30 push-ups. The question is, how many sets of 30 push-ups can I do? And the answer is, hell if I know. I can't limit it by number of push-ups per day, but I, I, can, I can definitely limit it by... Yep, there we go. All right. So, yeah, seeing as I was talking about this, I'm actually going to have to take the head... Well, all right. Am I gonna just do freaking ninety push-ups right now, you asshats? Uh, I'm uh. I kind of knew this was gonna happen. 